Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss the term Imagism. Introduction Imagism was a poetic movement that emerged in England and the United States between 1912 and 1917, driven by a group of writers seeking to break away from the sentimental and blurry style prevalent in poetry at the turn of the century. Led initially by Ezra Pound and later by Amy Lowell, the movement aimed to create a new form of poetry that embraced free verse, common speech, and the vivid presentation of precise sensory descriptions. Imagism's Core Principles Imagism focused on rendering visual objects or scenes with clarity and conciseness, often employing metaphors and juxtapositions without explicitly stating their relationships. One of the foundational principles of Imagism was to abandon conventional poetic materials and versification, giving poets the freedom to choose any subject and create their own rhythms. The Imagist rejected traditional forms and embraced a more modernist approach, attempting to capture the essence of an image without the burden of excessive commentary or generalization. Amy Lowell's Tenets of Imagism In the preface to the anthology, Some Imagist Poets, Amy Lowell outlined the core tenets of Imagism, emphasizing the importance of presenting hard, clear, and concentrated images. The movement sought to evoke immediate and powerful impressions through language, drawing inspiration from Japanese haiku and other concise poetic forms. Exemplar of Imagism A notable example of Imagist poetry is Ezra Pound's In a Station of the Metro, which exemplifies the movement's emphasis on clarity and precision. In a Station of the Metro, the apparition of these faces in the crowd petals on a wet black bow. This two-line poem captures a fleeting moment in the Paris metro using a striking metaphor to compare the faces of the commuters to petals on a wet bow. The imagery is vivid and powerful, conveying a sense of immediacy and intensity. Imagism's Enduring Influence on Modernist Poetry While Imagism as a concerted movement did not endure for long, its influence on modernist poetry was profound. Many major poets of the 20th century, including W. B. Yeats, T. S. Eliot and Wallace Stevens, were impacted by the Imagist experiments with clear and precise representation of images. The movement paved the way for a distinctive feature of modernist poetry, emphasizing the evocation of immediate sensory experiences through language. Conclusion In conclusion, Imagism was a significant poetic vogue that emerged in the early 20th century, seeking to break free from traditional poetic conventions and embrace a more modern and clear style. Led by influential poets like Ezra Pound and Amy Lowell, the movement championed the use of free verse, common speech, and vivid sensory descriptions. Despite its brief existence as a formal movement, Imagism left a lasting impact on modernist poetry, shaping the way poets approached imagery and the representation of sensory experiences. So this was the discussion on the term Imagism. If you have any doubts or questions, you can ask in the comment section. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other term. Until then, goodbye and thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to this series on literary terms and literary theory. If you want to study the notes and MCQs later to this term, you can click the link given in the description. We are also going to start our online and offline classes for UGC NET for English literature very soon. So stay connected with us.